Hi, I'm Sabri Siam Shamaptin. So good to have you here. And today I have my top five pharma skincare favorites. And I have done similar videos, like many videos like this. So you may find this to be helpful. So now let's start. The first thing I have one foot cream. This is Zelolin, and it has 70% glycolic acid. Yeah, when I saw it, like 70% glycolic acid is too much, but for foot. It can be okay, but do not apply it anywhere else. Don't apply it on your face. Do not do that. Your facial skin is gonna hate it. Do not apply this on your face. I'm warning you. Just apply this on your feet, on your elbows if you want to. If you have dry uh, skin over there, if you have like excessive dead cell buildup, it can clear it out. And when I started using it, my feet were in a very bad condition. I applied this, I think, for uh, 15 days and I saw good results with it. And you can apply this every night, but do not apply this for at the stretch for like say two months. Give it one month max or I think you're gonna see good results in like seven days. Uh, so I think 14, 15 days would do. Then you can stop you can go back to your normal food cream whenever you're gonna need it like extra help then you're gonna start with this but i don't think you have to use this constantly and like i told you you apply this at night i mostly apply this on my heels i mean there i get very like you know those dry rough skin and it really helps there because it has this huge amount of glycolic acid which can exfoliate it also has urea the texture of this cream is very thick uh, it's very moisturizing so if you have dry rough uh, feet it's gonna help you out but do not apply this on your face or on your hands like as hand cream or on your legs I don't think it's going to be a good idea. Go for gentler formulation like 10% glycolic acid, something like that. But this is like 70%, but it has this thick texture. So I don't think the penetration of this age would be like as effective as those in the watery formulation. But still, it is a very potent formulation. So be cautious. And I have to say, this is one of the best food creams I have ever used. Then I have this uh, Vensuya uh, cream, moisturizing cream. This is not fragrance free though, but the fragrance, it doesn't bother me. It's light. The texture of this uh, moisturizer is very nice. You can apply this on your face, on your body. Very good stuff. I also tried their lotion, which was very nice. So if you're looking for a body lotion, you also can try the Vensuya body lotion. It has really minimal ingredients. It has shea butter, aloe butter, then it has cocoa butter, uh, then it has zinc oxide um, the thing about this if your skin doesn't like butters like shea aloe or cocoa butter then you're not gonna like this but if you have dry skin and if you're looking for a no-nonsense moisturizer then you can give it a try and if you're looking for lighter texture then you go for the lotion version and then i have a uh, this one this is dharma soft lotion so lately what i'm doing uh what happening to me actually i'm shaving my legs my legs are feeling really dry and they feel itchy you know? so i'm looking for more soothing lotions and there it helps a lot frankly i don't like the scent of this so i am not gonna apply this on my face for my legs it's working very fine so if you have like similar issues like me like if your legs feel itchy you can give it a try this is quite affordable it has no nonsense ingredients it has aloe vera then it has few oils honey uh, the texture of this one is very light absorbs quickly and if it suits your face you can apply on your face as well no issues there it has a bunch of humectants as well it has lanolin which can be moisturizing all right next we have something really interesting this is cos glow new cream and it has niacinamide mandelic acid beauty resistenol then it has kojic depalmated it also has licorice all the ingredients that are very effective at reducing pigmentation it is in there only thing i do not like about actually two things i don't like about this cream is the texture it takes some time to absorb and the scent of it uh, I don't like how it smells and see uh, I got back knee here that let me mark and I applied this cream it helped I saw good results in like 10 days it really targets pigmentation because the formulation is very potent and very effective but I have not used this for my face because the scent and the texture uh, so I don't know if you want to use this for your face do consult a dermatologist because like I told you this is a very um, 
potent formulation and they say it's gonna treat melasma and pigmentation and I really like the fact they have included all the you know pigmentation fighting ingredients the better term would be tyrosinase inhibiting uh, ingredients so yeah and it is quite affordable uh, and I, I like it and then I have a moisturizer that I have been using for my hands as hand cream this is Moisane so you can apply this on your face no issues there but again the texture is something I don't like because these days I have access to so many good moisturizers that have like very good texture those things absorb quickly and they don't feel heavy but this one does but it makes a perfect hand cream and many people have been asking me for a fragrance free hand cream and for them it can be a very good option the only issue with this they don't mention the full ingredients list and many pharma skincare staff they don't have the full ingredients they only mention the key ingredients and this is something bothers me but i'm using this for my hands so i don't mind really also you can use this one this is exit dumb uh, you also can use this as hand cream this is fragrance free they have very minimal ingredients and they have mentioned the full ingredients so yeah if you're looking for something fragrance free when it comes to like moisturizing your hands then you can try this too either of this would do also i have these three things that i didn't like much let me tell you why so first i have this moisture x cleanse um this is a like non-foaming cleanser this is nice it has this very light texture and all but these days we have better like those creamy gentle cleanser like minimalist then we have this i forget the name of this thing you know i have used many bottles of this cleanser still i forget oh i recall cleanse me or cleanse your those things can work so i won't be buying this again to be very honest but if you're looking for a very lightweight non-foaming cleanser then it can work for you but even the moist cleanser that is better than this one i mean i find that to be better and then i have this aloderm so it has niacinamide it has few glycols then it has glycerin lanolin which can be very moisturizing like i told you but i don't like how it like the smell of it you know i don't like the smell of it and the texture of this you know it's not the best so i don't think i'm gonna buy it again but if it works for you then that's fine this is quite affordable so if you look for a moisturizer with niacinamide it may work for you but i don't like the smell much and it takes some time to absorb you know it's not the best like it takes a lot of time to absorb and this is something i don't like and then i have this one you recommended me this one this is bio silk it has oatmeal ceramides very affordable the texture is very nice but the scent of it i don't like i i do not like the scent no but the texture of this is very nice it absorbs quickly so if you don't mind the scent you can find this to be helpful quite affordable like i told you it has ceramides it has shea butter then it has few uh, humectants and it has this you know silicones to prevent the water loss good stuff and they have used bunch of silicone and you know fatty acids and this and that butters and all but still the texture is very nice which is very great but the scent of it i don't like at all so i don't see myself using this on my face these days i don't mind moisturizers with fragrance as long i can tolerate the scent but yeah this is not working for me i'm gonna use this on my hands just to finish it and i hope they come up with like less scented version or fragrance version but yeah if it works for you then that's fine so yeah that's all for now i hope you found this to be helpful and thank you so much for watching and i want to see you very soon then bye bye